All right, let me get started. Let's get started, yeah? Yeah. Good looking group tonight. I like it. I encourage everybody to share, uh, to, to turn on the cameras if, if you can, if you don't mind, but understand if uh, you don't want to share your background and if you're in the middle of, you know, doing something. But yeah, it's cool to see everybody. So um, just want to introduce myself and we'll do self introductions in a bit as well. I'm Jeremy Mendoza, your newly appointed president of Philam Innovators, which I'm very honored to have this role. Thank you very much. And you're for the evening. Um, excited for tonight for a couple of things. Number one, Filipino American Heritage Month. So we got some cool stuff to celebrate and some things that we get to learn today during our educational segment. Also, it's our one year anniversary this month that Philam was founded. So how cool is that? Congratulations to, to the group. So today's agenda, we're just gonna, we're gonna do some um, introductions. I'm gonna introduce the, the leadership team. We'll have uh, self introductions as well. We'll go around and uh, kind of go one by one. We'll do introductions. Is there anybody here that's here for the first time? Never been to any of these meetings before? Adi, <laughs> of course. Tony, welcome Tony, welcome Adi. Anybody else? Cool. All well, right. awesome. We're glad that uh, you're able to make it today. Um, we were going to do a five minute like one on one session, but I don't know if I have the capability this time. You have to bear with us being that we are now virtual. We, as you know, from previous events you guys were doing, it was in person. So we may have to skip that piece, but we'll get into announcements and recognitions and I'll close out with some final words. Um, I do plan on ending no later than 530. As most of you know, I like to be on time, but if anyone does want to stay afterward, I'm going to stay a little bit for a few minutes and anybody else who wants to stay after just to hang out or if you have any questions, we are happy to answer that for you. So real quick, just as a quick introduction, who are we? Who is Phil and Innovators? So um, let me just look at my notes here really quick. Okay. So our charter is to foster entrepreneurial spirit and represent the Filipino Americans in the technology startup space. We believe in creating a thriving entrepreneurial ecosystem through mentoring, networking, and education. Our mission is to establish a community of problem solvers, risk takers, and innovators in any professional field to create a cohort to establish a robust and lasting company, extend your network to scale your venture, and represent our community to the rest of the startup and business community at a national scale. So pretty exciting stuff here. Um, let's get into self-introductions. This is the cool part where everybody will kind of get, say 60 to 90 seconds just to talk about yourself in any way you'd like. I would just recommend, just obviously give us your name, uh, the company that you represent or companies, what your role is, and then tell us a little bit about the product or service that you provide, feel free to uh, let us know of any upcoming events that you want to invite to, um, and it'd also be nice to hear why you're here or uh, what you hope to gain either out of this event or out of this group, and um, why don't I uh, start? So, uh, since I have the mic, uh, Jeremy Mendoza, once again, uh, I'm with a company called Endea. I'm the director of sales for Endea. It's a SaaS company. Um, that is in the manufacturing space. Uh, I'm also the founder and CEO of a company called AnnexQ, developing a software that helps sales professionals um, communicate efficiently with their prospects digitally um, in a business-to-business -business space. And um, so I'm excited to be here. One of the things I guess you could say I'm looking forward to out of this meeting and future meetings is really just establishing um, you know, ongoing business relationships, some long-term friendships, and um, a date for my friend's wedding. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so let me uh, introduce to you really quick. Let me just go down uh, the list real quick of our leadership team, and then each person will kind of go. Uh, and then from there, we'll kind of go to, I'll call everyone out to kind of introduce themselves. So first, introduction let's start with the one and only board director and co-founder we're looking at eugene narciso 
Okay. So I can do my intro? You can okay. do your intro, yes. All right, 90 seconds, right? Okay. Hi, <laughs> everyone. Uh, my name is Eugene Narciso. I am uh, one of the co-founder and the chair, uh, board chair of Philam Innovators. I'm also the president, CTO, and co-founder of my own company called Escar.io. We are a um, information security um, type of company where we protect our users from any phishing malware tracking or uh, any um, nefarious um, traffic that comes into your uh, device. Uh, we do a proactive uh, type of solution rather than like uh, reactive. And um, we're, our goal is to really make the internet uh, better, faster and safer once again. And um, yeah, that's me. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much, Eugene. Next on the mic, we're gonna go with our other co-founder, Julius Alejandro, who is our chief strategist of the group. Hi, uh, my name is Julius Alejandro. So uh, my daytime job is I work with Rice San Diego. I'm the community engagement specialist. So engaging stakeholders and also manage the social media um, strategy. So um, I co-founded and I'm the project director for Village Up. It's a regional collaborative to increase diversity in the tech startup ecosystem. And finally, I am a consultant. I do leadership uh, development trainings and, uh, and social media strategies for um, small, medium-sized uh, startups and uh, nonprofits. Great. Thank you, Julius. And next, we have another co-founder who is in marketing for our group, Ramel Romero. Please introduce yourself. Yeah. Um, how's it going, everyone? Uh, my name is Ramel Romero. I'm the founder of a uh, co-founder of an application called Dip Social. Um, Dip Social is an establishment-based chat room application. Um, right now, we're in the process of rebranding um, the application, so you guys will know later on, um, you know, uh, what our plans are. <laughs> um, right. Well. Next to me, I have some of my uh, team members. I have Pam, who's our uh, community manager, and I have one of our graphic designers, JV. And uh, from this awesome. meeting, um, just want to hear everybody's story. You know, um, I, I like to kind of see, you know, uh, other Filipinos in the tech space, and um, it's, it's, it's a sight to see. So, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. We'll get yeah. We'll get to oh, we'll no, get to no? you and, okay. your, and your Let's team in a minute. Okay. All right. <laughs> Um, so thank you for that. And then of course, last but certainly not least, we have our education coordinator of the group, Leilani De Leon. Hi everyone, I'm Leilani De Leon. Nine months ago, I left a uh, very prosperous and great career at Qualcomm as a director of product marketing there to become an entrepreneur and start my own company. I founded and head up my legacy, which is an online personal storytelling platform that will allow us to tell our life stories, share experiences and capture memories to um, uh, on an everlasting platform. It is very early stage and um, still building that platform. I got involved with Philam Innovators on the invitation of Julius as we were doing some networking at a, the Women's Venture Summit. And, and like he said, it's very difficult to find other uh, Filipino Americans that are involved in the technology space. And I thought that was a wonderful mission and wanted to be a part of that. So that's why I'm here is to um, meet other people like me and also to perpetuate um, technology and entrepreneurship among our community. Awesome. Thank you for the intro. Well, great. So that sounds good. Let's um, now is everybody else's chance to do some uh, self introductions as well. So once again, name, company, role, anything else that you you want to tell us about yourself, and uh, if you can tell us, you know, either um, how you heard about us or what you hope to gain out of uh, this meeting, that would be wonderful. So why don't we start with since you kind of went ahead of us over there, Ramel? Why don't we start with your team in your office? Okay. Okay. So, hi. Um, my name is John Paul Obana, and I'm just their graphic designer. I make their, I help with their marketing and their social media posts. So, go ahead. Nice. Nice to meet you, John. You're just a graphic designer. Come on. 
you care you carry that team over there you carry that <laughs> tell okay. us tell us uh tell us about it. tell us something else tell us what um um you know what brought you here other than than Ramel making you sit here for an hour <laughs> <laughs> i mean i'm just looking for work and uh any way i could help the group if you need me cool so I'll nice be here. awesome all right, Pam, why don't you go for it? Yeah, hi everyone, I'm Pam Pareto. Um, I'm currently the community manager for DIF. Um, and so what that means is that I am helping everybody know about what DIF is, including our rebranding, um, which is going to just change over to a community forum type of thing. So think like Reddit for Nextdoor um, for neighborhoods in San Diego and really to support San Diego. Um, so we've got like really cool projects coming up um, as well as things like Friendsgiving uh, for every neighborhood. So we'll talk about that later or um, share more things about that too. Nice. I like it. Cool, cool. All right. So I'm just going to kind of go down uh, at least my, my uh, list that I have here um, that I'm looking, looking at. Why don't we go with uh, John Paul uh, Ablana? Am I saying that right? Oh, that, that was us. Yeah, yeah. That was you. Okay. Then let's go with, let's go with Jenna. Hey, guys. Hey. hey. <laughs> okay, I'm Jenna Jaro, and I know Julius. I've known Julius for a while through the startup community. And then, so when he first launched this, I think it was last year, I um, was introduced to both Eugene and Romel. And I think the first event was at a brewery off Miramar. And I missed the last one. And so there's some familiar faces here for the last time. And then I've known Jeremy. He's a close family friend. And we went to the same high school. And so we go way back. So congrats. I just learned the new speed that you're going to lead our group. So I'm excited about that. Um, I've been in the whole people operations, um, talent acquisition space for quite a long time. Um, I've been independent probably for about five years. But I love like the tech scene, the high growth startup um, companies. I stepped away for went on a little hiatus to do some family stuff and then I'm getting back into it and just uh plugging in and, and very, being very selective on what kind of uh, mission and projects I'm going to um flow to next so um it's been interesting uh, but it's nice because of all the virtual events and seminars and webinars it's uh, nice to um you know gather all the information what's happening in current modern day and in real time so I'm, I'm happy to meet all of you here and excited for what we can do going forward. Thanks. Cool. We're excited too. And, and we went to the same high school and college too. Which, oh, thank you, know, you for reminding so. me. Yes. Long <laughs> Long <laughs> That's Beach. right. Long Beach. <laughs> yeah. um, Adi, who is our uh, guest speaker for today, will get a chance to tell us more about Adi. Why don't you give us an introduction, please? Okay, sure. Well, professionally, I'm a corporate lawyer. I do both litigation and transactional side of, of the law. Um, I do represent a number of, I'm corporate counsel to a number of companies. So it's always exciting to meet entrepreneurs. Um, and I'm, I'm the honorary consul of the Philippines. Um, so you'll probably hear a little bit more later. I'll just leave it at that. Yeah, yeah, no, we're excited to, to hear your, your talk, so. Well, I'm very excited for... to meet your group. So I really think that I read your website and I was very impressed with it. And I'm, I'm, I'm really uh, inspired by your mission. We need that. So thank you. Awesome. So glad to hear that. Thanks so much. Um, awesome. Well, great. Let's hear from, did I get Tony? Is Tony, uh, Tony. How you doing, uh, everyone? Oh, yes. uh, my name is Tony Elias. I'm, uh, God, what am I, Audrey? Uh, uh, Audie. He's, well, he, first of all, <laughs> he's the oldest guy this. here. <laughs> He's all, let's start with that. Oh, all right, all right. Easy, get along. You don't know that. Yeah, um, I do. I do. The good thing uh, is we uh, not, uh, we don't look it. The thing is, who looks older? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my name is my name is Tony. Audie invited me, so I'm crashing your party, guys. Again, awesome. I know no, quite glad. a few of you. I know, I know Julius. I know John Paul. Who else do I know here? Uh, I know Anthony de Guzman. Um, what excites me about being on this call is I, I read your vision and, and mission as well. And um, 
I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a native San Diegan. I, I have multiple businesses. Audie called me and he says, hey, there's this group called the Phil Am Innovators. And I said, ooh, that sounds pretty <laughs> cool. Another Filipino organization? All right. <laughs> so congratulations on your one year anniversary. And like I said, I, I have a lot of my hands in everything. Um, but I think the main thing that- That's too much information. <laughs> <laughs> so now you know my relationship with the honorary consul okay so if you yeah. guys want to talk dirt later let's have a beer uh, <laughs> yeah. but, uh, otherwise um the piece that audi invited me for is the electric jeepney project that i'm working for working on in the philippines hmm. okay uh so i can talk about that later but that's who i am awesome yeah i definitely want to hear more about that Cool, welcome. So glad you made it. Thanks, Audi, for inviting. That's uh, it's so great to see. We have um, various uh, generations. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Ouch. We have. Uh... Ouch. It's <laughs> a nice way of putting it. Adi, Adi, you didn't tell me it was going to be this painful. <laughs> well, let me let me get the uh, the the belly song out of my, my chest. Yeah. My right. <laughs> Um, <laughs> let's go uh let's see we're moving around here i see um alfredo wow over there i think you're on mute oh there, there we go what's that speaking of generations yeah what do you got generation z over here what, what's going <laughs> Dude, on no i'm 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 a, I'm a millennial i'm still like I'm still okay. kind of young i'm only like 26 <laughs> so i'm still on the All young right. side though yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, my name is Alfredo. I'm currently a teaching artist with a performing arts center up in the Bay Area, but I am here based in San Diego. But for the most part, I am doing media work with the Asian Business Association of San Diego. So you've probably seen like all our videos around with everything. We've collabed with people like uh, Todd Gloria, a few other people in the community. And I'm oh, also, nice. I also have my own uh, social media storytelling platform called Philippines American Stories. So it's basically a multifaceted storytelling platform for YouTube, other forms of social media to really highlight the stories of other Filipino Americans. And I've, I came here because I really wanted to learn a little bit more. I've been seeing film innovators for like quite a while. And Julius, I've known for like, what, I think like 11 years now. And I felt like it was time to just learn a little bit more. Nice. Cool. Glad you made it. So that would Julius. put Julius in his, what, 40s? Still under 40. No, still under 40. Still under 40. Nice. Cool. We're glad you made it. We're glad it took 11 years to get you to come and meet us. <laughs> <laughs> um, great. Well, uh, let's go with CJ. Hey, my name is uh, CJ Boomitary. Um, I'm a student at SDSU and I was introduced to Julius through a mentorship program in the various entrepreneurship uh, incubators that we're associated with. Um, I'm involved with two startups. Uh, one of them is called Till, which is a mobile app where restaurants are able to sell, essentially sell their surplus of food at the end of the day in their closing hours for a discounted price, as opposed to throwing away leftovers. And the other one is uh, Neighborly, which is also a mobile app. And that one is pretty much uh, where it shows users where all the local farmers markets and flea markets are at, as well as support their local vendors. Um, and yeah, we're associated with uh, Rec Innovation Lab and um, SDSU Zip Launchpad. And yeah, I'm, I'm in here pretty much to uh, promote entrepreneur entrepreneurship um with the younger generation of filipinos and that's kind of where my interest is in any way i could help uh, i'm all for that love it thanks for joining us appreciate it you made it even made an app so we don't waste food very filipino <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's the goal <laughs> great well david why don't you give us an intro Oh yeah, uh, so I got introduced by Julius Alejandro. I feel like everybody knows him. He's like the connecting web for everyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, right. 
we're creating a software for uh, real estate transactions or commercial residential that are we want to sort of get rid of DocuSign because I think when you're purchasing real estate, you want to go boom, boom, instead of having to click on the yellow thing is. So we're trying yeah. to make that as seamless as possible. And uh, so far we've had a lot of good traction. We've met with the CEO of Lending Club and uh, the vice president of BlackRock. So well, we'll see. But mm. my goal here is that um, I want to see every Filipino here that I'm looking at the screen win. You know, there's no excuse to not win. So like, I, I don't know if you guys heard of the company Passion Planner. It's like this little planner. Um, you could Google it later, but she's, she's pretty, pretty doing pretty well. She's my elementary friend and she's netting about at age 23 of almost 31 million a year. And I was like, wow, with being that young and being able to do, use social media to your advantage, you could sell anything from a rubber ducky to like an old coin. <laughs> there's, yeah, no, yeah. there's no reason <laughs> So that, that's the, my goal here to see how everyone goes along. And if anyone needs help and stuff, we could all communicate and we could all rise together and, you know, we could do it. We're all San Diego yeah. based. Let's get awesome. It. I love that. I love it. That's so, that's so great. And that's, and, and what you bring up is so important and, and really resonates, right? We want to see each other win. I mean, we, I talked to Eugene not too long ago. We're like, oh, we, we want, we want a unicorn in this group, right? Like that's, Correct. but that's, that's why I'd love to, to get more information on that. As a matter of fact, anybody who wants to share their information in the, in the chat, we'll, we'll get a copy and we'll, we can distribute it, whether it's, you know, some of the products or, or anything you want to share with us, we'll, yeah, we'll have that. Sure. So, um, yeah, I definitely appreciate that. I just want to make sure you were the last person. Did I miss anybody? Julius, did anyone else join since we started? Yes, Anthony. 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 Oh, sorry about that. Anthony. Yeah. How's it going? C give us an intro, please. Uh, sure. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Anthony DeGuzman. I also was invited by Julius Alejandro, so uh, thanks for inviting me. Um, I am currently studying to get into law school with the hopes to practice criminal or national security law. Uh, I do have background and experience in working in the nonprofit and community organizing field for multiple years, and specifically working in the topics of youth engagement, uh, anti-human trafficking work, uh, political campaigning, as well as civic engagement. Um, I don't really have any experience in entrepreneurship, but uh, I do have a lot of close friends and my sister who have started their own businesses and done a lot of entrepreneurship. So, yeah, I uh, was just invited by Julius and decided to check it out. So here I am. Awesome. Thanks. So glad that you're here. And it's so cool just hearing the, di the diversity and the different things, the different backgrounds that everybody has. It's so it's so inspiring. It's so great. Um, which leads us to our next point. I'm going to hand it over to Leilani to give the introduction to our guest speaker. Awesome. So our guest today is Adi DiCastro. He is the founder of DiCastro PC, a law firm in downtown San Diego, where he focuses on business litigation and transactional law, which he said previously. He is a recognized as a civic and community leader. He serves as the Honorary Philippine Consul of San Diego and is an adjunct professor at the Thomas Jefferson School of Law. He's received numerous other political appointments, recognition, and community awards. He's also served on city boards and commissions, boards of local chambers of commerce and various nonprofit organizations, such as the Board of Governors for the San Diego Foundation, the Asian Business Association of San Diego, and the Filipino American Lawyers of San Diego. So please give a warm welcome to Adi DiCastro. Thank you, Elani. So um, as Elani mentioned, I'm, I'm a law professor on the side. And I'm saying that because what I have found challenging about talking in Zoom and presenting is, is always sort of maintaining the same kind of uh, environment that you, you can have in person. I really miss having the in-person uh, meetings with people because you just you just see the impact that you can make on people when you talk to them. So when I when I, I what I've learned in in my classes is that it's helpful to have things on the screen like a PowerPoint. So I hope you don't mind. I sort of prepared a very simple PowerPoint so that way you're, I'm just not speaking to everybody. So I'm gonna try that right. And, oh, um, I need somebody to uh, could would you mind enabling uh, enabling my screen sharing um, somebody. Yeah, let me see. Maybe Julius, you'd have to. Would you have to do this since you're the host? Okay. Good. 
Here we go. So, cool. Okay. Do you see it now? Yeah, it's popping up. Okay, so what I want to sort of talk about the, the backdrop here is Filipino American History Month because we're in October and October happens to be Filipino American History Month. Um, but let me talk briefly some context about my background as the consulate. Um, I am the honorary consul of the Philippines that Leilani mentioned. So that makes me the official representative of the Philippine government here in San Diego County. And I have a number of roles and one of them is to promote trade and tourism. So for example, if we have a tour every year that we, the embassy and all the consulates organize and we bring 300 people to the country and we go on a tour of various places to promote the country. And it also encourages networking and making friends with people in other states. And you get to meet the high level officials. Sometimes you get to meet the president. You, you definitely get to meet the ambassador and all the, all the members of the embassy and, and Department of Foreign Affairs. I also promote trade, um, which I will talk about in a little bit. But in short, one of my roles is to help build the country because the Philippines has a very high poverty rate of I, over 20%. And one way we can eradicate property is to improve trade between the United States and other countries and the Philippines. Um, and Philippines is a very highly talented country with a lot of resources, which I can talk about as well. I'm also here in my office is to protect Filipino citizens. So for example, if, if there's a Filipino citizen that gets arrested, um, I will be notified if, if the citizen requests that that person is in detention and I would be allowed to visit them and make sure they're okay and connect them with the family, maybe help them get lawyers. Um, we also provide basic consular services. That's on a daily basis. We have people that come into my office every day and I have uh, two staff members that actually help them. I also employ a, uh, actually a Filipino in the Philippines just to answer calls. We get that many calls that I, I hired a, uh, a Filipino citizen overseas just to pick up the calls um, and, and maintain the, uh, um, as much contact as we can off hours. And it also provides an extra job in the Philippines, which I'm, I'm proud of doing. And then of course, I'm here to also promote the relationship between the Philippines and the community and to promote the community here in San Diego County. So I'm here to really to support organizations like Philam Innovators. So, but let's talk about Philam History Month. So let me go here, just some quick background. Uh, many of you might know FANS, Filipino American National Historical Society. The founders, Fred and Dorothy Cordova, they first introduced October as Filipino American History Month. And it was recognized officially by Congress in 2009 by uh, House Resolution 780, which was sponsored by Bob Filner, the former mayor of San Diego and the former congressman. Uh, and October would seem to be an appropriate month to recognize Philam history. Um, one of them is one of the reasons why the first Filipinos landed in October in Morro Bay, October 18th, 1857. It's that long ago. And then Larry, our, one of the labor leaders, Larry Itliong, was born in October, and we have Larry Itliong Day on um, October 25th. Okay, so October is a month full of celebrations, and it's very important that we celebrate Philam History Month. And the reason why is it, this is my opinion, I think it validates our community and the accomplishments that we've, we've achieved, um, not just for our own community and our country, but for the United States. If you look at, for example, the labor uh, movement, people often equated it with Cesar Chavez. But in reality, we had uh, Larry Itliong and Philip Veracruz and other Filipinos who actually helped organize the um, Mexican workers around Delano for a number of years. Um, they're the ones that encouraged the strike and it was the Mexicans that joined the strike. We're the leaders. I mean, don't get me wrong. We, Cesar Chavez deserves everything, all the recognition, but so do, so do our Filipino uh, labor leaders. And um, it's given us a lot of progress, things like that. This is just an example. Governor Brown signed AB 123, a bill introduced by one of our assembly members, Rob Bonta, 
which would require the State Board of Education to include the role of Filipino Americans in the farm worker movement as the state's curriculum. So everybody has to learn that. So they don't forget what we've done, okay? Now, what we've seen in the last few years is a growing political strength of the Filipino American community. It used to be we had a lot of more challenges than we do. We couldn't get anybody in office or very few people. But the last time I checked, as of now, we have 28 known Filipino American candidates running for office in California, 62 nationwide. I mean, I think that's a lot more than I, I really thought about. And come January, we may have our first Filipino American mayor in Todd Gloria, and we may have two council members in, in, in San Diego, potentially, if Noli Zosa wins the seventh district. So if you think about it, we may occupy two of the nine seats of city council and the mayor's office. That is significant progress. Now, Filipino Americans are big in innovation and that's what you're here for. It puts our community on the map and, it, and of course it makes our lives better. I wanna just throw in a few examples here. Anybody here like karaoke? Yes, you do, Leilani. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I've only done it once. Okay? How much can... <laughs> I've only done it once, <laughs> and it was overseas. <laughs> but the pan is owned by a Filipino named Ro Roberto de Rosario, who owns a patent to the sing-along system, which is karaoke. Um, Robert Cornelius Murphy co-created Snapchat. I use Snapchat. Not because I wanted to, but I have two teenagers that taught me how to use it. But see <laughs> young folks that really are innovative that, that sort of bring people like me and Tony up to speed on things. But since I represent San Diego County as the consul, I thought I'd mention a couple of innovators. This is not all inclusive. Oops, I got an extra N here, sorry. Um, I don't like typos, so let me... Uh... <laughs> okay. Um, many of you might know Alan Kamaisa, who is a uh, entrepreneur. Well, he's, he's actually working on a cancer research therapy called Bellini Bio Biotherapeutics. And it's an innovative way to, to, uh, to cure cancer. Now, it hasn't received FDA approval yet, but it's shown a lot of promise. And, and he's not a scientist like some of you are, but he's an innovator in his own way. And, and this is a risky venture. And as you mentioned earlier, Jeremy, we like risk takers, right? Well, Mr. Kamaisa is yeah. one risk taker right there and it's paid dividends. And hopefully um, if Khalidi is successful, we will have a company that could be a huge company. And by the way, a lot of its investors are Filipino Americans. And then of course we have uh, Tito, Tony Olias here today. He is a founder. <laughs> <laughs> He's the founder of Global Electric Transport. Now, he'd be able to articulate the business model more than I can. But everybody here knows the jeepney, right? In the oh, Philippines? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Has anybody, has anybody here not been to the Philippines yet? Oh, Leilani, you have not? Not since I was an infant, so. Okay, well, with all the riches that you earned at Qualcomm, it's time for you to go with us, right? <laughs> Who said it? I, I, I caught that really quickly when somebody says that. I'm a lawyer. I hear, I hear money. So, um, if you go there, you're going to notice there's a lot of jeepneys, which are these, you probably know, are these really archaic but beautiful uh, cultural buses that drive around town. Um, and I've ridden in them before. They're dangerous, <laughs> but fun. And they're, you know, you go in and they're you know, they're a little uncomfortable, but you, it, it, you're right in the middle of Filipino culture. You're with normal people that, that live there. And I, I love the experience. The unfortunate part of it is traffic sucks and it's bad for the environment. And they're getting really old and they break down. Well, Tony's company, GET for short, short for Global Electric Transport, has, is, a, is essentially an electric model of the bus and it's a public transport system that's received a lot of support in the Philippines. And what I love about 
his innovation in the project is that it's, it's not only um, uh, good for the environment, but it's bringing money into the Philippines, providing jobs, because who are the investors of GET? People in the United States. And that's the way that we can promote innovation, uh, make money here in the United States for a lot of us philams, and help our country. See, that's, that's like a win-win for everybody. Um, that's just one example. So technology in the Philippines, I want to, everybody here, I, I mean, I'm not saying you have to do this. I encourage innovation no matter what. And in the Philam community, we have so much talent that I'm, there's gonna be, I'm sure a lot of you, if not all of you are gonna be highly successful. But consider the Philippines. We have a department of scientific technology that oversees the development of science and technology in the Philippines. And we had the secretary of this department, Fortunato de la Peña, visit San Diego about two years ago. He's a cabinet level member of the president to promote um, technology in the Philippines. And in fact, we had a couple of entrepreneurs that went over there. To, I sent them over there to see the secretary because they wanted to promote possibly um, um, starting their project in the Philippines and why? Because Philippines has so much potential. We have strong economic growth. Now, of course, like any country today, COVID is impacting. So some growth has slowed down, but yet we are one of the strongest in Asia in terms of growth every year. 6%, 7% solid annual growth every year. A very good English speaking country, okay? Um, the people there are highly educated and they're known for their strong work ethics. I can tell you right now, my system in the Philippines is one of the best assistants I've ever had. I better not say that too loud though, because I got a couple out there. But, <laughs> but she's right. excellent. I mean, so um, I would just encourage you to, to, you know, since we're all here as innovators and we're risk takers, and I, what I like about your group is you think outside the box. This is just one way to think outside the box and at the same time help your country. Okay, but if you do it here in the US, it's still a good thing you're helping our community. So I want to thank you all for doing that. So um, that's pretty much my presentation. I was asked to do seven to 10 minutes and I hope I stayed within the time budget. Yeah, absolutely. That was great. Uh, did you want to sure. chime in with anything about your, uh, you know, I mean, Adi gave us a good brief on it, but is there anything you'd like to add? I, I mean, no, I was talking to Tony. If Tony had anything else to add regarding his his venture, the the get. Um, oh, um, yeah, sure, sure, Jeremy. Uh, Audio, are you still sharing the screen? Oh uh, no, would you like me to? No, I just like you to do a close up so that everybody can see your gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I rest my case, guys. <laughs> right here, guys. So, so here's nice here's here. here's what I'm excited about. So. So number one, Adi and I know each other for, we've known each other for a long time. And so we could, we could talk all of this crap about each other. Um, David Corrales? Yes. Is it, so David, yes. David said something that I loved. And when I, when I was reading your emission statement, David basically solidified what you said in your mission statement about, he says, look, I'm on this call so that we all win. He didn't just say, I'm going to win. He said, we're all going to, so we all win and that we rise together. That is so Filipino. <laughs> it's so, you got to realize how beautiful we are as a people. And you got to know that I hated being Filipino. Yes, we are beautiful. Growing up. Yeah, you see, I, I found out later how beautiful we were. But you, if you're from my generation, which Adi and I are from the same generation, okay, he grew up a little differently than me. I didn't want to be Filipino. My generation looked at the Philippines as inferior. I was born and raised here in San Diego. All I knew was being American. And everything that I saw on Philipp in, in American television was bad news. Okay, so why would I associate with that? Now, today, I went to the Philippines 14 years ago and it changed me. Okay, it's, it's one of the reasons why I do community work with Adi. I mean, we're, we're partners in a lot of different things, 
And I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing in the Philippines hadn't I had my epiphany and I saw the beauty of our country and I saw the beauty of our people. And I'm not sure if you know the term kapwa. Does anybody know the term kapwa or what that means? Anybody, I'll give you a free car. If... <laughs> Does it mean like same or like um, together? Uh... Keep going, good Eugene, go. What is God? Okay. Okay. This is the whitewash part of me. So you know, yeah, you see, that, dude, we're same. We were whitewash, man. But I, I have a, I have a pill for you to take, you know, <laughs> to get you out of the matrix. Appreciate it. <laughs> but yeah, you're, you're. So Kapwa is the core value of being Filipino. Ka means to connect. Okay, Kapwa means I'm one with you, and you're one with me. And there's a connectivity that we are. The reason why you guys are together and why you started Philam Innovators is because we are a connected people in our DNA. Ka connects us. It's that deep. That's why you can go to a high school who has five Filipinos in the whole high school and they got to start a damn Filipino club. It's Ka. That comes from the source of Kapwa. Let me, let me go just a little bit further on Ka. Cause means to connect, but you've heard the term kapatid, means brother or sister. Uh, kaibigan, ka again. Kapamilia, our family. It goes beyond just being family. We are a connected people in our DNA. That's what we do. We connect. Everybody hear the term bayanihan. Oh my God! Who's any takers? Anybody want to define by Nihon real quick? Eugene. There's no car. I gave up. <laughs> Come on, Eugene. Uh, Patriot. Close. Close. <laughs> Anybody else? Oh, you're good. just you're just so close. Anybody else? Come on. All right. So 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 right now this is uh, this is the uh, Am Innovators Group. We're going to get the fill part, okay? Don't worry, we're going to fill the fill, okay? Bayanihan means coming together for a common purpose. That we, as a connected people, we come together innately. It is the spirit of being Filipino. Now, how do I know all of this stuff? Um, I've been to the Philippines. I hated going to the Philippines as a kid. I've... I usually go to the Philippines pre-COVID six times a year for somebody who hates, hated going to the Philippines. But this is how beautiful we are and amazing we are as a people. Bayanihan means coming together for a common purpose. It is what we've done for thousands of years. That's how we solved all our problems. We did it together. That's why I love what David said, okay? That we do things, we rise together. That's how we win. It is natural, we do that. Bayanihan, if you're coming together for a common purpose, the word bayani, anybody hear of the term bayani? Because it's in the word bayanihan. Come on, Eugene, you got one shot, go. No, 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 I'm like, I'm not even gonna try to. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some of you know, you're just not, you're just being shy. Bayani means hero. So we're heroes that come together for a common purpose because heroism, doesn't happen by yourself. That's why I love that we rise together. In the word bayanihan, in the word bayani is the word bayan. Come on, last, last ditch at the car. Oh my God, Adi. <laughs> I get a the car. AM Innovators Group. We only, I only know the bad words. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, it was, it was Am there, I eligible? Leilani. Am I eligible for the car? No, you are not eligible. <laughs> you, you get a matchbook car. It's, it's like community box car i'm sorry go ahead it's like it's like community it is so bayan means our community it also means our country and it also means our people so bayanihan means the spirit of being filipino is that we all come together as heroes for the common purpose of our bayan our community here in san diego our country the philippines and our people 
are global people. That's how beauty our, beautiful our language is. That goes back thousands of years, guys. You see, that's why it excites me to see a group of entrepreneurs that want to aspire to be unicorns. And there's people like me, others, Audi. There's a network of us that authentically care about the future of our people. And we're serious. Yeah, no, we love it. So you see what I'm saying? So, so yeah. guys, I'm, I'm just glad to be here. Um, no, I have a few you, other you businesses, but, but I'm excited just to be talking to you guys and getting to know all of you. I'm, I'm a native San Diego, so I'm here. This is home. So good. That's awesome. No, I love it. Love the passion. Um, very inspiring too. And plus we learned a lot today with uh, not just <laughs> language, but definitely uh, I, like, I, like the, I like the story. Um, so we definitely want to hear more. So what I want to do next, um, the board, we're just going to go through a, a few quick announcements before we kind of go into a little bit of recognition and close out the meeting. Um, Julius, you want to start with uh, any announcements you have? Yeah. So um, a couple of things. Um, I'm working on the strategic partnerships. So the first thing is uh, we're in talks with ABA being a potential fiscal agent. So that's in play. You know, um, so I did ping uh, uh, the president, uh, Jason Pagia, who's also Filipino. Um, so it's in his ears, but uh, moving along, we have a very good strategic value proposition within the API community. We're very unique because we are not just entrepreneur focused, but focused on startup high growth companies. And then most of the organizations like TAP, the Taiwanese and AAACP, the national, are not uh, more professional in, in general, not really entrepreneurs, especially in the startup field. We're very unique because we have an entry point that they kind of lack. So it's positioning ourselves being uh, potential collaborations and partnerships along the way so we could be the go-to expert in, that, in the API community in San Diego. So again, we're, we're leveraging our value proposition being a focus on entrepreneurship for high growth companies. That's kind of uh, lacking within um, outside so yeah, so nice. Good stuff. Thank you. Eugene, do you have any announcements? Um, not at this time. I think uh, one of the things that we wanted to highlight in this uh, in terms of announcement, I think you can talk more in detail on that is like the, the cadence of this event. Um, how much, uh, you know, how long are we going to, um, uh, what, what we're going to try to focus on and try to build on um, additional program that are, are more pressing and more topic centric into the entrepreneurial ecosystem, right? So um, uh, maybe you can expand, expand on that? Like uh, cadence, like, is it like monthly? Oh yeah, yeah. So and I'll, yeah, I'll definitely get, get into that um, in a moment, I'll, but you no, know, I'm glad you reminded me. So yeah, we'll talk about our, our cadence and meetings and, and so forth. Um, but I wanted to get the announcements out as well. Leilani, did you have any announcements? Just really quick, I wanted to take the opportunity to thank Adi and Tony for joining us today. If yeah. anybody is in need of Adi services as either an attorney or the Philippine uh, consulate, uh, you can reach him at decastropc.com. He has his contact information there. We'll figure thank out you. how to ping Tony. <laughs> but, thank you. But very inspirational. It, it was my pleasure to be here. I, I really enjoyed meeting everybody. I knew some of you already, but uh, it's exciting to be around the younger entrepreneurs. I had a question though, why are you using ABA as a fiscal agent? So, Eugenie or uh, Julius, I mean. Yeah, yeah. because um, they're robust. Uh, the reputation and they have a link to SBDC. So the more strategic, especially they're, they have their hands everywhere. You know, yeah, their reputation, just okay. like, just my awareness with them. Mainly they're, they have a link. Um, they have a pipeline to this, you know, SBDC, which links to it's a greater, it's a greater um, conversation because right now we have a partnership okay. with uh, my organization, Build Job. So yeah. Mm -hmm. But you have a C six right status? Uh, no, we don't have any status right now. We are we're, we we would be classified as a grassroots organization for now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Just curious. You can get status uh, very easily. I, I object, Your Honor. I think that's that's uh, leading the witness. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Uh, <laughs> you know, one of the many things we'll, we need to discuss, Adi. No, definitely. That's, that's the feature. Um, 
as an organization, we have to decide about all that legal stuff. <laughs> yeah. Ramel, do you have any announcements? Um, well, uh, yeah, kind of. Um, we're actually starting a, a used tablet drive. Um, we'll be uh, doing a, a used tablet drive to help support with social distancing, us uh, with social learning in a pro for, for PUP um, in the Philippines. So we'll be doing that starting November 1st. So if you guys have any used tablets you're not using, um, with every used tablet, you'll be getting a free giveaway box from All Things Ube. So uh, we'll be starting that on the 1st. So um, tablets will be uh, donated to Polytechnic University uh, of ODS on campus in Quezon Province. Like I said, it's going to help with uh, the, whole, the whole social uh, distance learning situation at that campus. So. Nice. Okay, yeah. cool. We'll send out some information on a, on a follow-up email. Uh, so that's it for announcements in terms of leadership. I do want to say, though, one thing is that we are always looking for any volunteers or anybody to step up in leadership roles. We understand that everybody's busy, uh, have a lot going on, and so there obviously is some level of commitment. At the same time, we want to make sure that uh, it, it fits your schedule and your uh, you know, your busy schedule, but obviously, you know, in order for us to grow and to thrive, um, it's going to take each of us to to step up. So some of the things we're looking for are, and Eugene, I think you might have a few. Yeah. Do you want to list a couple of what we're looking for? A couple. Yeah, sure. Um, mainly, w one of the main um, near-term um, objectives that we're trying to, to do is growth. So we want to grow our membership into the Philam Innovators. So that means we're looking for at least growth coordinators, right, like membership coordinators where they're trying to network it on, trying to get um, fill M innovators um, in, on on the right network, on the right conversations, um, so we can increase this. Um, the more the more people that we have, or the more um, in, uh, membership that we have, the more we can spread the spread our objectives, spread the um, uh, the uh, our, uh, our our mission statement, and so forth. And again, try to grow that network across the board because again, you know that's one yeah. of our Real. If anybody's interested, please just reach out to me, and I'd love to just tell you what we can we can do. I mean, any little bit helps. If you want to just be part of a committee or be part of a team um, to to help out, that that is super helpful as well. Uh, but as Eugene said, we we love for somebody to step up in the leadership role that can kind of take charge and and help us, uh, you know, improve and and move our our mission forward. Um, thing, Jeremy, can I can I ask something? Yeah, yeah. Would your group be interested in, since a lot of you um, are obviously interested in Filipino culture, but perhaps would you be interested in uh, visiting the Philippines to uh, appreciate the cult, to learn more about the culture and maybe even consider doing business there? Because I could uh, yeah. organize a trip for all of you. Uh, yeah. COVID, right? <laughs> I'm sorry? Post-COVID? <laughs> Post-COVID. Yeah, yeah, post-COVID. I, I am so yes on that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I mean, we can talk about it after, but yeah, I can, yes. we can coordinate something. Think I about certainly it. would be interested in, in learning more about yeah. what we can. There's a lot of innovation that goes on over there. Yeah. yeah. You'll see. Resources. Awesome. Well, um, I wanted to um, sort of like highlight is a Great, uh, huge thanks to Jeremy on coordinating this. He has been uh, the rock on this entire event. He's been uh, cracking the whip on, especially the <laughs> founders. Uh, we've been very busy ourselves and uh, uh, and him cracking the whip on us has really been uh, uh, a good, kind of like the fire in our butt so we can get moving. So a uh, huge thanks to Jeremy on this. Uh, oh yeah, my pleasure. I appreciate that, which is, is I appreciate you. Our segue, which is if anybody has and, and thanks, Eugene, I appreciate that. And it's, it's really not a big deal at all. I, I, I love doing this and I love the, the passion that everybody has, it, it motivates me. Um, but if, you know, if anyone has, you know, 15, 20 seconds to say the last piece a little, if they wanna, especially anyone who didn't get a chance to talk too much, uh, feel free to step in now and just say anything from what you thought about today to maybe again, recognition, maybe a thank you for, for anything. If anybody would like to do that, now is your chance. Jeremy once. Yes. Do I get the car back? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like so um yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry I'm in the car guys. No, no. Um I, I just wanted to put in um one thing. 
Uh, have you guys heard of the Filipino school in San Diego? No. Okay. Um, on the filipinoschool.com, we've just launched a 14 part series called The Filgrimage, a Filipino pilgrimage. So if you don't want to go to the Philippines, um, I know it's pre it's COVID time. Uh, I go to the Philippines with Adi every year. Okay. And I either go with the consulate or we, we do this Filipino pilgrimage through the Filipino school. But you could all go on the filipinoschool.com and watch a few episodes, if not all the episodes. If you want to binge watch it, you can go through the Filipino pilgrimage through the eyes of eight Philams, aged 15 to 22. So it's a 14 part series. It's a partnership that the Filipino school has with ABS-CBN. And uh, you're gonna see what these Philams, half of them have never been to the Philippines, what they go through. And some of the things that I kind of communicated to you about certain words and who we are as a people, you're gonna get the beauty of what it means to be Filipino if you watch through these series and it, and it climaxes at the end. Okay, so um, go uh -huh. on to the filipinoschool.com. Okay, cool. again, for yeah, me, that was too much information. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so this concludes our meeting. Uh, just a reminder, <laughs> so what we're doing is we're gonna be meeting every third Tuesday at 4.30, obviously if there's holidays and things like that, that we'll work around that, but just count on every third Tuesday, which would make, uh, Lilani, when's our next meeting? Do you happen to know off the top of your head? December 15th. There you go, December 15th, 4.30. We'd love for you guys to join us again. I oh, know I yeah. lied, the next one is November. Sorry, I was thinking yep. about Christmas. Oh. Yeah, yeah, November. November 17th. It's November 17th, yes, November 17th, 4.30. Please join us, we'd love to see you guys again. Um, again, volunteering is optional, but highly encouraged. This concludes our meeting. We thank you for joining us. And uh, we hope that you join Philam Innovators team where we go against the grain. Yep. Thank you. This concludes thank it. If you. anyone wants to stick around, um, we're gonna stick around if you can answer any questions or if you just wanna hang out, feel free. But other than that, uh, we go. Well, well, one last thing. Uh, can everyone put their um, their videos up, please? We'll do a screenshot, you know. A little selfie, a yeah, little virtual selfie. Yeah, yeah, you know, so. Anthony, TJ, can you please put your uh, videos on for a second? Put your shirts on first, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's why. Oh. Uh, Minimum I'm requirement. Afraid. Minimum requirement is sure. Yeah. I'm afraid <laughs> you're lighting good. Okay, cool. Um, cool. Uh, yeah. Can we have TJ? Can you, are you able to put your videos on? Is that possible? And also, Anthony? TJ still with us? Is there, but uh, muted. I think he might have. Uh... Cool. Oh, okay. there it is. There's Anthony. Man, the hair's long. Cool. All right. So, well, okay. <laughs> CJ, one last. Okay. We'll just tag you, CJ, if you if you can. It's fine. Ready? One, two, three. Cool. I'll send that to you. Yeah, we'll, we'll post it. Nice. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Uh, you know, I want to give everybody uh, a huge thanks for everyone for participating today. Again, uh, we are looking for people to um, become a member and become active into the uh, into the organization. Uh, spread the word. Let us let people know about the, uh, our mission statement. Um, we're also um, what do you call it? Like um, all of us here, especially Lani, Jeremy, uh, Ramel, and Julius, we're here uh, voluntarily. We are not getting paid for any of this thing. So uh, we are looking for anybody that's active and um, to help us uh, grow this community or this um, organization so we can be a better, stronger um, uh, group moving forward. We could use a social yeah. coordinator too for when COVID is done, you know, so yeah. we can actually um, put together some social, cool social events. Maybe we can, maybe if we go to the Philippines, yeah. we can get a, Adi, what kind of connections do you have with the uh, Miss Universe out in the <laughs> Philippines? <do> you? <laughs> I have a lot of people, okay? <laughs> I, I have taken pictures with Miss Philippines. One of them, I can't remember. Nice. Um, so you'll have a good time. It will be a very memorable experience if you go. Trust me. We should do it next year. That'd be cool. I will go with you. 
Great. And, I'd be down. And, um, you know, apparently we need a translator because none of us can speak Tagalog. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they do speak a lot of English, but I, I can speak Tagalog. Um, Google feels, Translate. I'm sorry? Google Translate. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really work well. Feel no. free to send me um, information about membership. You know, um, yeah. you have my email, I believe, Leilani and Jeremy. Yeah, 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 for sure. And I could forward it on to people as well. Um, okay. Cool. Great. Yeah. Okay. Well, thanks. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, well, everybody. Subscribe. We have a um, subscribe to the website. Put in your email address in there. We'll we'll send some good, you know, um, newsletter, some kind of like a quick okay. summary of what we have done here. So you know, we want to. Yeah, we, and everyone, if anyone needs to leave, don't you don't think you're being rude? Just yeah. bounce. We're already. At, okay. You know, we're just. Thanks, we're just everybody. Around. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thanks, guys. Bye, Ron. See ya.